Hey beauty, Safi Amanda here. So you can tell by the change of scenery that this is another impromptu holiday video. And as you can tell by the title, we're gonna be talking about customers. And the reason we're talking about this today, now, is because I had a really terrible day at work and another customer horror story. And I thought it'd be kind of fun because honestly, a lot of the stories I'm about to tell you happened during the holiday season. I know, a time is supposed to be joyful and about giving and family. No, it's also a time for really crappy customers. And I had a bit of a doozy today. I haven't had a customer like this in a while. So I thought I'd share with you customers that belong on Santa's naughty list. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, and be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you're not new here, make sure you're subscribed for more fun content. Let's get into the video. Story number one, I'm gonna tell you what happened today. But first, it was, it, it was one of those days, you know? That's such a lovely sound. So today I am working the lunch shift and a table comes in of a woman, what I assume is her mother and her young child. And they seem nice enough. The mom seems kind of impatient. She showed up late, but the, the grandma and the little boy are super cute and fun. I, I liked them a lot. So they come in, they order, uh, but the one thing that they ordered was a burger combo. In the lunch one, you get one side. Okay, the dinner one you get two. So I clarify with her. Okay, so do you want the lunch burger special or do you want the dinner burger special? And she's like, no, I want the full one and I want broccoli and a salad. And I'm like, okay, sure. And they get their food. Everything seems to taste fine. I wait on my other tables who were totally cool. And then I bring her the bill. <laughs> the way she looked at it, I should have known that there was gonna be an issue, but when I went to go collect the payment, she's like tapping the receipt. She's like, what is this? I'm trying not to be a smart ass, but I really wanted to say that's your bill. <laughs> but she's pointing at her dinner burger special. And I said, um, that's what you ordered? She goes, no, I ordered the lunch one. It is lunchtime, isn't it? And I'm like, I am so sorry. I didn't want to argue with her. I said, oh, I'm so sorry. I totally must have misunderstood that and rang that in wrong. I would be happy to discount that to the lunch burger special. This is kind of funny because when she ordered the dinner one, she got two sides and the dinner burger is bigger than the lunch burger. So whatever, you ate the whole thing. I'm just gonna discount it. I'm sorry, my allergies are really bothering me right now. And it's late, it's like 1 a.m. <laughs> anyway, and this lady looks at me with like the most glaring look I've seen in a customer in a long time. And she goes, well, if you weren't so lazy, you might have caught that. Okay, whatever. I knew they weren't gonna tip and sure enough, they didn't. And I'm just, <laughs> like I've put up with a lot of people in a lot of situations, but I've never, ever been called lazy. <laughs> Icing on the cake for today. Story time number two. Again, these all happen during the holiday season, which is like, uh, the second story I want to share with you was this uh, lady, this wasn't even that long ago, like a year ago? Yeah, about a year ago. It was an incredibly busy night. There was a concert downtown, and whenever there's a show at this big concert hall, we get really busy. And this table came in, it was four older people, and they had ordered the house stew that we make on certain nights, uh, when it's like cold outside and it wasn't hot enough. Uh, annoying, but I get it. Well, well, <laughs> I may understand, but this is not acceptable. I was waiting on another table, like getting another person's order, and the lady, the table's behind me. I have my back to them, and the lady like nearest to me proceeds to pull on my apron to get my attention, and she's like, yeah, this is not hot. I want this warm. I'm like, oh, okay. Let me finish up this table and I will totally take that back to the kitchen. So I get the other table's order and I, <laughs> I 
I start to grab the soup. And she like stops me from grabbing the soup and she's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna take this stew that's not hot enough for you and I'm gonna go make sure the kitchen warms it up. She's like, we don't even get new stew. You're just gonna warm it up in the microwave? And at this, okay, I probably should have been nicer at this point, but I had a big top at the door, the phone was ringing off the hook, there was food in the window, and the hostess was nowhere to be found. So I literally just grabbed it and I'm like, yep! <laughs> and it wasn't my table, so I had to tell the other server what happened, and she's like, oh, I don't understand why they like that, they've been nice to me. <sighs> cool. Story time number three. <laughs> now this one is a doozy. This is when I first started working there. It was a late night and this guy came in. Just a single guy, he decided to sit at the bar. Well, there was a game on, like a hockey game or something, and he was yelling at the screen. And normally I'm like, okay, it's a bar. But there was another family there and I don't want him to bother this customer anymore. I need to distract him. So I go up, he just, you know, he starts asking me questions like, hey, uh, where are you from? Are you from here? And I said, no, I'm actually from New Mexico. Uh, and he's all like, oh, well, you don't seem like you're from there. Um, like, I don't know what that was supposed to mean, but okay. Mind you, this is the holiday season. <laughs> And he, uh, he makes a comment. I really don't want to repeat it because it's vulgar. Just draw your own conclusions to how vulgar this was. And at that point, it's like 20 after close. I just want to go home. This guy's obviously like being gross and not going to tip. I'm just, I'm over it. And then I march back to the kitchen and there's, there's three guys back there. There's the manager and then two kitchen staff. And I go back there and I'm like, I don't care that he didn't pay for his beer. I, I just, I need him out. He made this comment about me. He's making me uncomfortable. He made customers uncomfortable. I want him out. So all three of them go up and the two cooks hang back near uh, like the server station that's around the corner and they're just watching the situation and my manager goes up and he goes hey man you know what uh, we've been closed for a while and you're making my server uncomfortable so I think it's time to leave the guy who's like 5'8 and my manager is like 6'2 he's like I don't know who the F you think you're talking to and you know I, I could talk to her however I want and the managers like no that's my staff and you're making her uncomfortable. She doesn't have to put up with this. You need to leave now. And he's just like trying to get into the manager's face. And at this point, the manager is like super upset because he's like always stuck up for us. And uh, so he grabs this little drunk man by the scruff of his neck and like lifts him off of the, like the edge of the stool and sets him down and he like pushes him. He's like, get out of my restaurant now. Well, then the guy pushes my manager, and he doesn't like push him hard, but he does like knock him into like the corner of a table. And at that point, the two cooks run up. Uh, one gets up behind the guy and like has to like hold him back, and then the other one is just like standing alongside my manager. I'm like standing by the register with like a, a salt shaker. <laughs> like ready to throw it at this guy's head in case he like tries to do anything. Long story short, they get him out the door and off of the premises and he's like standing in the street yelling slurs about me, about the business, about the manager, and then the cops show up and <laughs> it was like this big thing. On the note of customers making vulgar comments about people, I had a customer, I was fixing a table because the, the way the tables are lined up, every now and then, uh, like there's these little things at the bottom to prevent scuffing on our hardwood floors. And every now and then those things come loose and you have to tighten them. And you literally have to get like under the table to tighten them. So it was like, I don't know, a week before Christmas and it was eight o'clock at night. We were kind of dead. I decided now was a good time to like fix it in case another table decided to sit there. And a guy who was waiting for his pickup order, like <laughs> I was getting up off of my hands and knees from fixing the table and he makes the comment without freaking blinking. I, I, I like it when you get on your hands and knees. Mm. 
And at the time, the owner was like running the books at that time, so she had to come up and like run some receipts or something. And she and I are tight. I told her the story while she's running receipts, and I mean it, I literally saw like steam coming out of her ears. And she's like, if he ever comes back in here, you let me know, and I'm just, uh. And you know what? I don't think he ever did, and I don't think I've seen him again. Good. <laughs> the next two story times are kind of similar. Um, for two reasons. One, they did not happen to me. They happened to a coworker, but I, I needed to share it because they're pretty bad. And then two, uh, they vo both involve poop. If you're kind of squeamish, uh, now would be a good time to fast forward. Let me first disclaim that I've worked in restaurants before as both a server, as a cook, and fast food, as a host, uh, even as a supervisor. And I've never encountered stories like this. A co-worker of mine, her name's Claire, she uh, was working the day shift and this lady comes in and we don't have public restrooms. Well, this customer comes in and like ignores the please wait to be seated sign and walks towards the restroom. And Claire is just thinking, okay, she needs to wash her hands before I seat her, she needs to use the bathroom, whatever. So Claire doesn't think anything of it, she tells me, and she's just waiting for her to come out so she can seat her. Well. Then another table walks in, she's helping them, she's uh, getting their order, putting it in, whatever, and she doesn't see the lady leave, but she leaves. Well, when Claire walks back to use the restroom, there are human feces everywhere. I mean, all over the toilet. It's on the toilet paper dispenser, it's uh, in the hinges of the seat, it's on the lid, it's on the back of the tank, it's on the floor, everywhere. Just blew up <laughs> all over. And at this point, the other manager, she was uh, running inventory for a truck that day, and she goes in there uh, after Claire tells her, she goes, we don't pay you enough to do with this, uh, I got it. And the manager was nice enough where she cleaned it up for Claire, like. And the only reason I know this in like so much detail is because this happened right before shift change and I was Claire's relief. So I was coming in, getting ready for the shift and she's like, okay, you have to wash your hands in the wait station because you can't use the restroom. And I'm like, why? And then she tells me that story. Another story happened to the owner. Uh, he came in and he was covering a shift for somebody who needed the day off. And this guy came in, seemed drunk, maybe. Uh, apparently ordered food, like ate his meal, and then proceeded to use the restroom. Oh, and did I mention he had a guitar with him? He had a guitar with him. Anyway, so he eats his meal and decides to use the restroom and then does his thing in the bathroom and then comes back and he falls asleep in a drunken stupor in the middle of the booth, just like holding his guitar. The owner, he wakes him up and says, hey, you know, you paid your bill, like, let's move along. And he leaves. Well, we come to find out after the fact that he didn't use the men's room. He used the ladies' room. There's crap everywhere. Like, you thought that the lady who uh, blew up in the bathroom was bad? There was feces all over the floor, all over the diaper changing station, just everywhere almost like he just decided to smear it all over the restroom like it was on stalls he probably wasn't even in what is wrong with people and my last story time this one has to be one of my favorites to tell because it's so I don't even know the word to describe it I just know that there's gonna be there are servers everywhere who have encountered a customer like this. Hashtag relatable. And this was right before, this is after Christmas, before New Year's. I was working a night shift. I don't even think it was like a weekend night. I think it was like a Tuesday. And this lady comes in and I know exactly who she is. I know her name. I know where she works. And she's a server. So if that gives you any indication at all what kind of level of service she provides for her customers based on how she acted in this story, just keep that in mind. This lady, we'll call her Mary. Mary comes in with her daughter at approximately three to four minutes to close. My favorite. So I'm gonna, I'm the team leader, I'm there late and they come in 
three or four minutes to close. And at that point, I've sent all of the other servers home and we've closed down the sections because each server is responsible for their own section. So I sit them in section A, which is near the front, near the bar. I get them their drinks, I get their order in, and their food comes out. And I go to check on their meal. I'm coming from the, the back freezer and I'm walking down the hallway carrying stuff to bring up front for the next shift. And I see them, Mary and her daughter, moving their food and their drinks to another table. And they're starting to walk near the back section. And it just so happened that there was a table that one of the servers hadn't wiped off in their section and this table was, um, like I should have checked that before she left, but whatever, it was dirty and needed wiped off. And so she tried to sit in section C at a dirty table. I said, uh, as politely as I could, that that section was closed off because it's already after close and the table was dirty and she gives me the dirtiest look just says oh and then proceeds to move back to a table adjacent to the one i sat them at so now they've dirtied two tables now i have three total tables to clean at this point and it's already after close i just want them to finish their food and leave so i can do my other stuff and I, I check on them, I make sure they don't need boxes, they didn't want dessert, everything seemed like okay. You know, not super chipper, but okay. They didn't tip. Like, honestly, looking back now, I'm not that surprised. But then, then, they write a review on the corporate website a week and a half later, nine days after the fact, nine days, complaining that I was rude, that I didn't let them sit where they wanted, and like all of this stuff. And then she'll come in, like she consistently comes in, and is still trying to sit in that one particular section, always complains about the food and, and everything and the pricing, and then I will dine every now and then. I'll dine at the restaurant that she works at. Like, I know I'm not the best one in the entire world, but wow. So there you go, guys. And honestly, I like I wasn't I wasn't planning on making this part of my winter wishes series, but I honestly thought it'd be kind of funny cuz now I'm going to add these people to Santa's naughty list. So if you're a rude customer or if you stiff your servers or any of that stuff, if you've done anything like this to another server without any kind of valid reason, you're gonna end up on the server Santa's naughty list. Thank you guys so much for watching and staying tuned in for part three of my Winter Wishes series, which was Santa's naughty list, customer horror stories. And if you haven't liked this video by now, go ahead and do so by giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, be sure to do that right after you like it so you can stay tuned for other holiday themed videos in this Winter Wishes series and some pretty fun videos to come in the new year. I will catch you beauties next time. Be nice to your servers. Merry Christmas.